Hello, Rob Papen here. There are many ways to select factor presets and in this short video I will explain how it all works. You can do it the classic way by using the up and down arrow in the preset part for selecting the preset and by using the up and down arrow at the bank part for selecting the bank. But just like all our other plugins we have the quick browser which is located here. It opens if you click the mouse button while being over the preset name. With the quick browse you can go through all the banks and presets. This also remembers the last 20 presets you have selected in recently browsed, in alphabetical order. This is great if you search for the right preset and suddenly found out that one of the presets you have heard before was the right one. The Quick Browser is an essential tool for saving time while making music. If you like a preset and want to add this into the Favorites folder, use Save Current Preset in Favorites. It copies the preset into the 01 Favorites Bank folder. These favorites presets also can be selected in this menu. 265 presets can be stored inside this folder. So this is how you can select and work with presets from the main menu. But there's more. If you click the button here, the bank manager will open. It adds total overview of all presets, bank folders and some very cool features and functions you can also find here. At the right side you can find all bank folders, included the favorites I have just shown you. Below the bank folders section you can find functions for the bank folders, for instance to be able to create your own bank folder. Creating your own folder is advisable if you create your own range of presets. In the top of the bank manager you can select several pages. The preset manager you need to select to see all the presets in the current bank folder. By the way, if you right click, you can audition a preset without loading it. It plays note C3. Behind each name you can see a star and if you like a preset, you can give it a star. This makes it easier for you to look back and find interesting presets in each bank folder. If you click on the star symbol next to the preset manager button, only the start presets are displayed in this folder. At the end of this video I will explain how you can export or backup your star selections. At the bottom of the bank manager you can find several functions for the preset files. You can copy a preset, rename it and so on. In the top of the bank manager the Find Preset button helps you to find a preset if you remember parts of the name. The Search category makes that you can search on types of sounds. For instance, pet sounds. Presets in this category pop up and the ones that have a different color background are the ones that appear in the bank folder which is shown at the right side. If you select another preset, the bank folder also appears at the right side that holds this preset. So the location of this preset is also clearly shown. The Set Category buttons you need to use if you make your own presets and want to give them also a tagging. In the middle part, several functions appear and if you made a selection of tags, press Apply and Save to add these tags to the selected preset. By the way, if you created your own preset, use Save Preset As to save the preset in the current folder with a new name. If you have already created your own folder, use Save Preset in Folder to select your folder or another folder. Ok, now back on the star system of the bank manager. If you install Vector on a new system or you would like to exchange your start selection, well, let's go to the location of all the presets of Vecto. On the PC it is My Documents, Rob Papen, Vecto. And on Mac it is Applications, Rob Papen, Vecto. In this folder you will find 
all the bank folders included a text file called star.txt, which holds your star info. So make sure you copy and backup this file if you like to use it on another system or a new system. Note that you also can see a folder called original bank folder. In case you have deleted the original folder or one of the original preset by accident in the main bank folder, you can copy from here the folder back or the preset to the main bank folder. So no need to run the installer again if you had a folder or a preset deleted from the original factory presets.